Hi, Chris Doherty here, technical editor for RV Travel. I'm joined by Mike Sokol, a regular contributor to RV Travel, an electrical engineer. Mike, I have a question from Bob from Chicopee, Massachusetts, and he writes, can I run my air conditioner and a hair dryer at the same time with a 30 amp connection? Mike, what do you think? Well, it's let's say it's a qualified maybe. Things that heat up draw a tremendous amount of amperage. So a 1500 watt hair dryer that you might use could in fact draw easily draw 12 amperes. And something like a rooftop air conditioner can, when it starts up, draw 30 or 40 amperes. So you may be able to get away with it, but it might be a little iffy. Um, one thing I will tell you, the chance of having an air conditioner and a hair dryer running at the same time on a generator is really not, not much of a chance unless you have a very large generator. So, but here's the deal. If you've sized your, sized your power cords properly and your circuit breakers properly, you will never create a dangerous situation the worst that will happen is you'll trip a circuit breaker. And if that's the case, then you know you cannot use it. Or what you can try is to run your hair dryer on kind of the low heat setting. So rather than the turbo 1500 watt thing, flip it down to where it's the 600 or 800 watt setting, your hair will look better and you'll draw less power from uh, your shore power connection. And one of the things too, I think people need to watch out for is what other loads are on the AC system that maybe they didn't think about. One of the big ones is uh, an RV refrigerator. If you have a fridge that's on the automatic setting, as soon as you're plugged into AC power, it goes over to AC instead of propane. Exactly, things like hot water heaters. Again, that's another heating element that draws a tremendous amount. So if you flip it, so it's, you have your electric elements turned on, as soon as it decides it wants heat, it turns on and, it, and it'll draw another six or eight or 10 amperes very easily. Some more great information for our viewers to keep in mind. Mike Sokol, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.